Good evening. Uh, today, I will teach you the taxonomies and instructional objectives. Now, what we will cover? I will cover mainly the taxonomies of learning and the Bloom taxonomy. Now, before that, what I want to tell that what is taxonomy? Taxonomy is nothing but the classification that is known as the taxonomy. Now, the taxonomy is a logical classification, hmm, where every term is defined precisely and consistently that is taxonomy. So, it is based on the psychological principles and it is the classification of goals for our education system that can provide constructive help in developing curriculum and testing. For developing the curriculum and the for the developing for the evaluation of uh, the curriculum, the taxonomy is very important. So, the taxonomy it helps you know in specifying learning objectives, so that learning experience can be built appropriately. In that case, it means that how to write the learning objectives in that case taxonomy is as a very important role. Here we will explain the Bloom taxonomy and it allows you know the clear communication amongst the educators regarding uh, learning goals and the experiences. So, that is the taxonomies of learning. Just see here, this is uh, in this picture, a, this is a Benjamin Bloom, you know his book is he is published in the year of 1956, Taxonomy of Educational Objectives, the Classification of Educational Goals. Okay. Here, the Benjamin Bloom's taxonomy is used extensively is used extensively for planning, you know, teaching and learning activities. So, he is the father. So, why we need Bloom taxonomy? Why? The first thing it considered it is a classic and the thing is that it is a th solid theoretical base for systematic planning for the planning of the education or the curriculum, the systematic planning, this Bloom taxonomy is very important for teaching and for evaluation. Okay. Both of the cases at the macro level, in the macro level and the micro level. So, in that case, so Bloom taxonomy is very important. Now, why we use the Bloom taxonomy? Okay. The first we write, if I write the curriculum of any course, you know, in terms of observable student performance, we called it specific instructional objectives. We will teach you that how to write the specific instructional objectives. So, for that, the Bloom taxonomy is very important. The, if you know the objectives, then it is easy to plan the teaching and learning strategy. If objectives is clear, teaching and learning strategy it is clear. So, it helps the Bloom taxonomy, it helps in the teaching and learning strategy in keeping with our instructional objectives. If in the instructional objectives, we give importance to in our course to the analysis level. So, in the teaching and learning strategy also we will think that okay, we will give more focus in that, uh, in that phase. So, and if you know the teaching and learning strategy, so Bloom taxonomy it help you to plan the assessment and the evaluation strategies to match the instructional objectives. So, Bloom's taxonomy provides the you know the basis for creating clear C L E A R student learning expectations. So, what is clear in the C it is comprehensible to students. C for comprehensible to students, okay. L it is learner centered. We are not considered the teacher centered. It the approach should be the learner center approach. So, L for the learner centered. E 
evident observable in fulfillment. So, that is for E. F A it is attainable, right. So, but the attainable, but it, it you know of a high standard, the attainable up to a high standard and R is related to the force content and the goal. So, that the Bloom taxonomy the it is clear the clear student learning expectations, right. So, the domains of learning Benjamin Bloom asserted that all learning activity can broadly be classified into three domains. One is the cognitive domain, one is the psychomotor domain and the other is the affective domain. Okay. So, what is cognitive domain? It is a knowledge based domain, cognitive right is a knowledge based domain and it involves intellectual and the thinking skills, what you will think these things, these are only in the cognitive domain. Hmm. The second one is the psychomotor domain, psychomotor domain is mainly skill based domain, it is mainly the skill based domain and it involves the physical skills of performance of action. So, this is the psychomotor domain and affective domain it is you know it is a, it's a what you are feeling is is a in encompassing your the attitudes the values all this is in the affective domain. So, we will explain one by one let us come to the psychomotor domain. The psychomotor domain, the symptom in the 1972 includes physical movement, coordination and the use of the motor scale area. So, what is that? The development of in these you know skills require practice in the psychomotor you need practice as it is measured in terms of pre speed precision the distance procedures or techniques in execution. So, if you practice and you have to execute it right. So, this is in the psychomotor domain. The psychomotor domain that skills it suppose uh, you know uh, it is range from suppose you are digging a ditch or you know washing a car from there the more complex task you can do. What is that? suppose operating a complex you know piece of machinery. So, from digging a, a ditch or washing a car to uh, the you know the, the complex you know piece of the you know operating a machinery. So, this is the change in the psychomotor domain. In the psychomotor domain there are six stages. The first one is imitation, hmm. the second one is manipulation, third one is precision, fourth articulation and then naturalization. So, there are five stages in the psychomotor domain, it is not six, it is five stages. So, it is imitation, manipulation, precision, uh, articulation and naturalization. Right? Now, what is precision? Precision is nothing but you know if you observing and patterning behavior after someone else, right. For example, trying to operate an equipment by observing someone else. Suppose, I do not know how to use um, how to use um, uh, fax machine or how to use photocopy machine. So, in that case I am observing it, they are doing this. So, I am doing the in that way. So, observing it and doing it. So, that is the imitation the children the small kids they Im, they you know they learn from their imitation they what the another uh, kid is doing they are doing in that way. So, it includes you know the trial and error and until an appropriate response is achieved. So, this is the first part that is the lower level imitation after that we call the manipulation. Manipulation is higher level, what is than imitation. So, being able to perform certain actions by following instructions and practicing that is the call is the 
manipulation until you know it becomes habitual right so learner still is not sure that whether himself or herself right but they are trying to do it for example trying to operate an equipment on one's own after taking lesson or reading about it suppose i don't know how to use it, a, a, a microsoft excel i am reading a book or i'll take the help and you know i'll i'm learning it i'm doing it so this is is the manipulation the third level is we known as the precision i'll give first example working and reworking something so it will be just right so it is not, not uh, it is nothing but refining become more exact so few errors is apparent but this is the third level that is the precision level then the articulation level what is that using an op, you know uh, one machine or equipment skillfully that is the articulation level so coordinating series of actions achieving harmony and internal consistency so it is the skills are so well developed that the individual can modify movement patterns to fit spatial requirements or to meet the problem situation so that is the articulation it is nothing but the coordinating of the series of action and uh, achieving the harmony and internal consistency so this is the articulation and the top level it is nothing but the naturalization is the example is that suppose can use the equipment without thinking even in novel ways suppose uh, that is means you know automatically you can do that you don't have to think or, 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 or automatically we are doing this so having high speed performance so in that naturalization becomes you know natural and without needing to think much about it so we just respond it automatically so this is the top level so in the psychomotor level imitation manipulation precision articulation and naturalization okay so now we'll come to the affective domain affective domain it's by crathwell blue messy in the year of 1973 but what it includes the manner in which we deal with the range you know of things which is emotionally the emotional thing right was that was the feelings the values you know the appreciation enthusiasm you know motivations and all these attitudes that is in the affective domain so that taxonomy is ordered according to the principles of internalization it's internal thing right so that is the affective domain so in this affective domain there are also five levels just like psychomotor domain what are those one is receiving responding valuing operating and characterizing the uh, organizing and characterizing now first i'll call what is the receiving thing right receiving you know in the class sometimes you know sir listen to others with respect you know receiving it so listen for and remember the name of the newly introduced people some newly introduced kids you listen their name so that is you know the receiving things or listen to others you know with respect hello like that so this is the receiving thing so it is the awareness you know the main keyword is awareness or willingness to hear so or the selected attention so that is the receiving part the next part the above the receiving that is called the responding you know if you know you are responding in the class right participations in the class discussion hmm or gives a presentation you are responding that's why you are giving a presentation or question you are questioning some new you know that ideas concepts these you are questioning model says in order to 
fully understood them. So, in that case this is the second part you are responding it in active participation right in the part of the learners attend and react to a particular particular phenomenon. So, that is the responding part. The third is the valuing thing valuing is suppose example I will better to give him propose a plan to social improvement and follow through with commitment. So, that is you know the valuing things or informs management you are informing management on matters that one feels strongly about. So, that is the valuing. So, the worth or value a person attaches to a particular object valuing phenomenon or behavior. So, this ranges from the simple acceptance to the more complex state of commitment right. So, that is the valuing thing. The fourth part is the organizing, organizing is means suppose organizes values right into priorities by contrasting different values resolving conflicts between them and creating an unique value system. So, what some suppose the example what is that recognizes the need between a balance between what is the freedom and the responsible behavior. So, that is the organization. So, that is the fourth level. So, you have to you can recognize freedom thing and you know the responsible behavior right. That the top level is the characterization you know it is just you know it shows a uh, you know self reliance when working independently. What is that? Uses an objective approach in problem solving or value values people for what they are not you know from their how they looks like that it is not that you can just value them from their you know what they are from that. Okay. So, has a value system that controls their behavior. So, the behavior is consistent predictable you can predict and most important characteristics of the learner. So, these five things receiving, responding, valuing, organizing and characterizing. Now, but here the one thing the difficulty in this domain is that it is you know the internal or the covert thing feelings and emotions are the are as important as over overt behavioral manifestation. So, but here we mainly focus to the cognitive domain. The cognitive domain involves knowledge and the development of intellectual skills right. So, it includes in the cognitive domain it includes you know the recall or the recognition of the specific facts, procedural patterns and concepts that serve in the development of intellectual abilities and skills. So, it is starting from a simple thing that is the knowledge recall knowledge recall the lowest level and from the top evaluation creation or the highest level right. So, first the knowledge then the comprehension then the application analysis synthesis and evaluation. So, each category must be mastered before proceeding to the next. Okay. You can go to the comprehension level if you know the knowledge, if you are know if you are in the comprehension level means you know the knowledge level, the application level means the knowledge and comprehension you have that is why you can apply and in the analysis also you can after application also only you can analyze. So, it is like that right. So, first will come one by one the knowledge level. Knowledge is the recall of data 
remembering previously learned material, knowledge of dates, events, places, knowledge of you know major ideas, some keywords is that define, list, name, outline, point, state, identify all these things. So, what do I know and do at this level? In the knowledge level, what do I know and do at this level? I can recall information about the subject, topic, I can recall it. I read, you know, material, listen to the lectures, what are the lectures I am listening it or watch videos or even though take notes. So, all these things in the knowledge level. I learn the vocabulary or terminology as well as the conventions of rules associated with the subject. So, this is the knowledge level, where the testing in the knowledge level, how can I test? What are the typical ways I can understand uh, or I can demonstrate my knowledge? What is the typical answer true false, yes no, fill in the blanks, multiple choice questions correctly. Define you know all the technical terms associated you know with the subject by you know their attitudes, properties and the relation. So, suppose the example, the student will define the six levels of Bloom's taxonomy of the cognitive domain. So, this is a knowledge level question. So, these six levels knowledge, comprehension and uh, application analysis synthesis and evaluation. Types of knowledge, first is the knowledge of terminology, hmm. define you know technical terms, range of meaning of the words as in the dictionary, terms and concepts in the science. So, this is the knowledge of terminology. Knowledge of specific facts, that is also knowledge about the culture, major natural resources, properties of elements compounds, data. So, all the specific facts, the knowledge of that. Knowledge of conventions, convention symbols of the domain area, rules of social behavior, forms of scientific papers, you know protocols, standards, all these things in the knowledge of conventions. Knowledge of trends and sequences. So, in that case, trends in data, compression, sequence of a given process or operation knowledge of you know classification or the categories type that can be knowledge of methodology different methodology methods of inquiry technique procedures knowledge of principles and generalization recall of principles in learning in biology you know different principles and knowledge of theories and structures in that case it's recalling major theories, suppose civilization, science, different theories. So, all these are the in the knowledge level. So, after the knowledge level, we will come to the comprehension level. So, the comprehension level in that case, the ability to grasp the meaning of the previously whatever you learned, the material, the ability to grasp the meaning, this may be demonstrated by you know translating material from one form to another, you are translating this or interpreting material or explaining this, explaining or summarizing this or by predicting consequences or effects. So, that is the comprehension level. Example, suppose the student will explain the purpose of Bloom's taxonomy of the cognitive domain. So, here the keywords explain summarize, you describe, illustrate. Types of comprehension, suppose translation into other language. So, the first one is the translation, translation into other language, into other forms of communication, suppose dat data to graphs or state in own words or explain. So, that is the translation. The second one is the summarization or the generalization. The third is the extrapolation. So, that means making the predictions, right. So, based on understanding or trends, 
consequence or actions described in a case of the communication. So, what is the extrapolation? So, this, this is the second part, second level. The third level is the application level. Application it refers to the ability to use learn material in new or concrete situation, whatever you are learn. So, you are applying this only in the 21st century engineering education mainly we are focusing that they can apply not the knowledge or comprehension. If they know it ok, where they can apply that is very important right, where they can they analyze that is important. So, in that case this may include the application all the rules, method, concepts, principles, laws what they learn they are applying it right or the learning outcomes in the area require a higher level of understanding than those under the comprehension level. So, it is the higher level. It solves problems using required skills or knowledge. Application apply concepts and principles to new situation, apply laws and theories to practical situation solve mathematical problems, construct graphs and chart, different this type of application they have to apply right. So, in the testing application solve problems independently in new situation and without prompting by the teacher. So, that is the application level. So, suppose one example the student will write an instructional objective for each level of the Bloom's taxonomy. So, that is the application. The keywords are apply, demonstrate, um, calculate, illustrate, uh, examine these all the application level action verbs. Analysis the fourth level, analysis refers to the analysis is and synthesis just the opposite. Analysis means ability to break down material into you know component parts, synthesis means of the parts you are uh, uh, join it, but let us come to the analysis means you just break down the material into small parts analyze it. So, that the organizational structure may be understood. So, this may include the identification of the parts, analysis of the relationship between parts and recognition of the organizational principles involved. So, learning how outcome here present a higher intellectual level than comprehension and application because they require an understanding of both the content and the structural form of the material. So, some example in the analysis level the student will compare and contrast the cognitive and affective domain. What is the cognitive domain and affective domain if they can compare? So, that is the analysis. So, the uh, action verbs is compare, analyze, contrast, separate these. So, types of analysis suppose analysis of elements, recognizing hypothesis, conclusions from the statements, or analysis of relationship you know distinguish the cause effect relationship or the you know check the consistency of the hypothesis with given information. So, that is the analysis or the analysis that is the analysis of relationship and analysis of organizational principles, arrangement, structure, forms, pattern or the ability to infer what is the author's point of view these are the analysis of organizational principles. The fifth level is the synthesis level, where the students originates, integrates and combines, they are combining it ideas into a product or plan or a proposal in a new which is new to him or her. So, synthesis it refers to the ability to put parts together, parts together to form a new whole. So, this may involve the production of a unique communication right, 
theme of plan of you know operation suppose research proposal or a set of abstract relations that is the scheme of classifying information. Learning outcome in this area stress creative behaviors okay, with major emphasis on the formulation of new patterns and structures. Example, the student will design a classification scheme for writing educational objectives that combine the cognitive, affective and the psychomotor domain. So, here combine, integrate, modify, rearrange, plan, design, invent all these are the action verbs. The top level is the evaluation level. Evaluation means the ability to judge or the value of the material. Suppose a statement, a poem or you have to you can judge it right or any research report when you are judging it for a given you know purpose. So, that is called the evaluation. Compare it and discriminate between ideas, assess the values of theories or the presentations, make choices based on the you know recent argument, verify the value of evidence all these things you know these are the evaluation level. So, in that case suppose an example the student will judge the student will judge the effectiveness of writing objectives using Bloom taxonomy. So, what they if they can judge it. So, in that case it is the evaluation level judge, critic, justify all these things are the action verbs. Here, here the Bloom's tax uh, ranking or thinking skills in the knowledge level all arrange, define, describe, duplicate, label, list, these are the action verb. Comprehension, explain, summarize, describe, illustrate, these. Application, use, compute, solve, demonstrate, apply, change, choose, compute. Analysis level, analyze, categorize, compare, contrast, apply, change, discover. In the synthesis level, create, design, hypo, you know, develop, arrange, assemble and in the evaluation level judge, recommend, critic, justify, appraise, these are the conclude, contrast these are the action verbs. So, this is for today, in the next class we will explain the uh, revised Bloom's taxonomy and how to write the instructional objectives. Thank you.